Bienvenidos de vuelta. Bueno, hoy, como no podía ser de otra manera, la candidata presidencial Kamala Harris tomó distancia del presidente Biden respecto del deplorable dicho de Biden según el cual los votantes de Trump son basura. Well, first of all, I think that the president has explained what he meant, but um, I've, I've said it earlier. I, I strongly disagree with any criticism of people based on who they vote for, and, and that, I've made that clear throughout my career, including my speech last night before I think this all happened, um, which is I intend to be a president for all Americans, and including those who may not vote for me in this election. I take very seriously my obligation and my oath to concern myself first with the needs of the American people and put them before whatever might be my selfish issues. En otro diálogo con la prensa también se desmarcó de Biden y dijo que ella está fuertemente en desacuerdo con insultar a los votantes del otro candidato. President Biden put this comment last night about garbage. Uh, listen, I think that First of all, he clarified his comments, but let me be clear, I strongly disagree with any criticism of people based on who they vote for. As you heard my speech last night and continuously throughout my career. Uh, I believe that the work that I do is about representing all the people, whether they support me or not. And as President of the United States, I will be a president for all Americans. Le preguntaron si estaba preocupada por el impacto que podían tener los dichos desafortunados de Biden. The challenges that people face. I respect the fact that we all have so much more in common than what separates us, and that most people want a president that understands that, that gets that, and approaches their role of leadership that way. I've been very clear from my earliest years as a prosecutor. I never asked anyone, are they a Democrat or Republican? The only thing I asked folks is, are you okay? And that's the kind of president I will be. Dijo que si gana la presidencia, y lo dijo anoche en el elipse de Washington, D.C., allí mismo donde Trump habló el 6 de enero de 2021, que, insisto, si ella gana la presidencia, se enfocará en preservar las libertades y en expandir las libertades. Nearly 250 years ago, America was born when we wrested freedom from a petty tyrant. Across the generations, Americans have preserved that freedom, expanded it, and in so doing, proved to the world that a government of, by, and for the people is strong and can endure. Fue un bonito discurso, fue un discurso muy bien escrito y muy bien dicho, muy bien pronunciado. Y dijo que ella no le tiene miedo al futuro. And fearless enough to imagine a future of possibilities. So America, let us reach for that future. Let us fight for this beautiful country we love. And in seven days, we have the power. Each of you has the power to turn the page and start writing the next chapter in the most extraordinary story ever told. I thank you all. God bless you. Esa era la despedida, pero antes había dicho que uh, Trump no piensa en la gente ordinaria común, sino piensa en su agenda personal y en su interés de venganza. America, this is not a candidate for president who is thinking about how to make your life better. This is someone who is unstable, 
obsessed with revenge, consumed with grievance, and out for unchecked power. Donald Trump has spent a decade trying to keep the American people divided and afraid of each other. That is who he is, but America, I am here tonight to say that is not who we are. That is not who we are. Hoy estuvo en Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, Kamala Harris, y parecía particularmente eufórica. So Raleigh, early voting, as Jennifer said, has started. Here in Wake County, you can vote early now through Saturday, November 2nd. And we need you to vote early, North Carolina. Because we have just six days left in one of the most consequential elections of our lifetime. And we have work to do. Dijo que está convencida de que al final ella ganará. because when you know what you stand for, you know what to fight for. And we know we have an opportunity in this election to turn the page on a decade of Donald Trump who has been trying to keep us divided and afraid of each other. We know that is who he is, but North Carolina, that is not who we are. Afirmó que su carrera de abogada, de abogada litigante, de fiscal, de fiscal acusadora, ha demostrado que ella no le tiene miedo a la pelea. En North Carolina, you know, I've been here many, many times over the years, and you know this, I am not afraid of tough fights. For decades as a prosecutor and as the top law enforcement officer of our biggest state, I won fights against big banks that ripped off homeowners against for-profit colleges that scammed veterans and students, against predators who abused women and children, against cartels that trafficked in guns and drugs and human beings. And if you give me the chance to fight on your behalf as president, there is nothing in the world that will stand in my way. Así que, con entusiasmo y con fe en sus posibilidades, uh, pidió el voto por ella. So, North Carolina, I am asking for your vote. I am asking for your vote. And here is my pledge to you. As your president, I pledge to seek common ground and common sense solutions to the challenges you face. looking to score political points. I am looking to make progress. Una pausa será breve y al volver cae un diluvio bíblico que azota a la comunidad valenciana. Hay más de un centenar de muertos y muchos desaparecidos y avenidos. <música> 